Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to the channel, hey, welcome. And if you're back as always, welcome back. Today I am so excited about this particular unboxing video. This is part of an order that's come in from a relatively new diamond painting company. And it shipped in two different boxes. There's one kit in each of these. They're from the same company and the same order. But let's go ahead and get into these with a little bit of movie magic. <laughs> And there we go. So <laughs> I thought I would spare you the unpacking process, but these two kits are from, like I said, a relatively new diamond painting company called Oraloa. And they are based in Canada or France. One of those. <laughs> I think they have warehouses in both spots, but that is why everything is in both English and French. So yay, anyone else speak French? It's been a long time, but I took a lot of classes in high school. So I have two kits here. I ordered these at the end of June. And as of the time of this filming, it's actually the beginning of September. Now what happened is I had ordered a couple of kits. Actually, I had ordered three kits in total. Um, these are both round drill diamond painting kits. And then I had ordered a third kit in square drills to test those out. And I guess there's been a little bit of a delay in getting those square drill kits out. And so they had held my order. Um, but then when my friend reached, <laughs> Bev reached out to them for me, um, since she's an affiliate with Oraloa, which by the way, I'll link to her channel below if you'd like to check her out for a discount code. Um, they were more than happy to send me my partial order. So thank you so much, Bev and Oraloa for making that happen. I'm so excited for these. <laughs> and don't worry, I'll keep you guys posted as soon as the square drill kits come in as well. So like I said, I ordered two different kits. Let's go ahead and we'll start with this one. So here's all the branding on the box, which I think is really impressive for a brand new company. Here is their website and socials. And okay, so we get a picture of the kit itself on the box. So this one is called Veyunet, oh sorry, that's the artist, Veyunet, and then L'Oiseau des Fées, so the, uh, the bird of the fairy. <laughs> and this is 59 by 90 centimeters. It's a pretty good size, and I got it in round drills. And here's Oraloa's socials info. So, okay, let's go ahead and get into this one. And I normally, when there is a brand new diamond painting company like this, I will just pick up one kit to try out to see what I think. But to be completely honest with you guys, Oraloa has so much beautiful artwork, which by the way, is legally licensed. Um, but I love, love, love the artists that they're licensing from. I couldn't resist. I had to get more than one because they're so pretty. So, so pretty. All right, so in the box we have, there's our kit and there's something else in here. Where is it? Okay, there we go. So we'll get into this in just a second, but look at that poured glue. <laughs> so here is a little letter they've included. Welcome to the Orloa Diamond Painting Craft. Okay, I wonder if that's in, yep, French on the back. But all of the information about, I guess, how to diamond paint and whatnot, so that's helpful. And then this gorgeous, this is a sticker sheet, a sticker inventory sheet with all of our symbols. Looks like we're gonna have 55 colors and that looks like we're gonna have an AB. I'm guessing from that AB. <laughs> so here's, oh my gosh, look at that artwork, you guys. I'm so excited. And there's all the info as well. And like I said, this is a sticker sheet, so I can cut these out and put these right on the organization system that I use for my diamond paintings. I like that it comes in a plastic sleeve for extra protection. All right. Ooh, okay. So the backing is super, super, super soft. Like, almost like a felt, it's not felt. I wonder if this is that um, short lint, but it's really, really soft. If it is that short lint, uh, fabric. I haven't felt one be this soft before. So this painting is big. It, wow, wow. Okay, so I almost got this one in square drills instead, but I looked at the size and thought, I'm trying not to get a bunch of massive square drill diamond painting kits. So no, let's not do that. Okay, um, here are all these glorious colors, which we'll get into in a bit. Here is... 
the toolkit that they provide, which, okay, that all came out at once. <laughs> So we have a sparkly pen with a single placer and it looks like a three placer, maybe a four placer on the end, a squishy, and then one of the standard thicker, what's this, nine placer maybe? So that's super helpful. A white tray or boat, some, yes, pointy tweezers, and we have a little wax pot with blue wax. Nice, I love that. Be sure, oh, there's, yeah, there's three little plates in there. Be sure to take the, there's a plastic cover, so be sure to take that off. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not quite gonna work for you. That happened to me, that's a really common um, mistake that beginning diamond painters make. They don't realize that there's that extra plastic cover on the wax to help it not dry out. Okay, let's take a look at this beauty. And if you're seeing what looks like wrinkles here, it's okay, this is poured glue, it will come out. Oops. <gasps> Wow, wow, <laughs> this is so beautiful, oh my goodness. And even though it's kind of laying flat pretty well on its own, I'm still gonna roll it just a bit to encourage it to really lay flat for us. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks beautiful. All of those pinks and purples, that's lovely, okay. Let's look at the canvas itself. So we have surged edges and finished edges, so we shouldn't run into too many issues with fraying. Here's their branding at the top. We have a thumbnail and the info about the artwork here. And then over here at the top left, we have the color chart, which looks, interestingly, the symbols on here look a bit faded, like the printer was running out of ink. But that's, I mean, that's fine. That's really not a big deal at all. <laughs> There's another uh, legend or key code over here on the bottom right as well. And then we have in the bottom left, their socials. And here is the artist's name and the size of the canvas. Again, this is legally licensed from this artist. Now, let's do a really quick measurement and see if it measures true to size, especially since it's a newer diamond painting company. And we want to see. That is the tiniest tick shy of 59, which is what it's supposed to be. And we are at, since the canvas isn't totally flat, I'm gonna say that that half centimeter shy of 90 is the canvas not being flat. So 59 by 90, it is true to size. Love seeing that right out the gate. Now, I'm, I'm doing this a lot with my kits lately, so if you watch my unboxings, you're probably having some deja vu. But all of these little wrinkles here are just bugging me just enough that I wanna take care of them. So those wrinkles that you see are not really wrinkles, they're just where the plastic cover has shifted over the glue. So by peeling back the plastic cover like this and then slowly laying it back down, that's gonna get rid of, oops, sorry about that. That's gonna get rid of a lot of those wrinkles. There's still some folds in the canvas. However, my guess is that this will absolutely still lay flat once there are drills down. This seems like a nice quality canvas. And actually, even the plastic cover seems like a nice quality. I have definitely noticed that different companies have um, different sorts of qualities to their plastic covers. So this one's laying very nicely. All right. Except for the part where that wants to keep folding up. <laughs> That's all right. All right. So this canvas looks absolutely beautiful. Let's get up close and take a look at some of these symbols. Though from back here, these look incredibly clear. Up close, they look very clear as well. I am seeing some of these symbols I don't think I've ever quite worked with before, which is completely fine. They'll be unique, they'll jump out to me. Again, these seem to be very clearly printed. Um, now, just at this first glance here, I'm seeing what looks like a really nice mix of both color blocking and confetti. If you've heard that term before and aren't totally sure what it means, color blocking is when you have large sections of the same color. So you're gonna be able to use your multi-placer and or not have to change out the colors in your tray very often. So like here, this is all the same color. 
So this is color blocking. Whereas in her face, <laughs> lots of color changes. That is what we call confetti. Like I said, lots of color changes. You're gonna have to change out um, not only the colors in your tray, but probably have to use a single placer a lot. To be honest with you, I have mixed feelings about that much confetti in a face at first glance, but we will see. Sometimes that can give a really nice blended effect, but sometimes it can look like distracting as if it's not a terribly uniform skin tone. Yeah, these symbols look great. I don't see any that seem so similar to one another that I'm going to confuse them, but this looks great. <laughs> this is so pretty. Okay, let's take a quick look at the drills. Those colors are so lovely. Um, okay, yes, yeah, so we're gonna get into these. And by the way, it looks like, I wonder, okay. So while there isn't the name of the kit on the drills, you could just grab a sticker or a Sharpie and write it on here, just in the event that you store your drills separate from your canvases outside of the box that they came in. But let's go ahead and take a look at these. Okay, this is a long bag of drills. Oh my goodness. So these are all pre-baggied, which I know many of you are very much a fan of. To be completely honest with you, pre-bagged drills are not my personal favorite, but it's a me problem, not a company problem. Um, for me, for my weather, for whatever, um, Drills that are in these Ziploc baggies tend to be extremely staticky for me. This is not a deal breaker, it's just an annoyance. All you have to do if you run into staticky drills like I do, is just grab a dryer sheet, cut it up into little squares. What I'll do is I'll take that little square, open this up, shove the square in there, <laughs> zip the bag back up, move it all around, and the dryer sheet will absorb all the static. And then when I open this up, the drills will pour right out into my storage containers. If or if you work out of baggies, the drills will pour out into your tray really nicely. So anyway, these are in number order. It's like eight, nine, 10. And then here in little print, we have the DMC code. So that is super useful to have. Uh, look at these purples. <laughs> There's just a little handful of 310, which I'm gonna take a little look at just to make sure that we don't have any trash, which no, these look really beautiful, like really, really beautiful. Love seeing that right up front. I'm not gonna pull out all of the colors just for sake of time, but look at the pinks and mints. Possibly one of my favorite color combos ever. I wonder if this color is in the bird because there's so much of it. Now, oops, I would love to show you the ABs, but first, more pinks. <laughs> more pinks and purples. Two bags of this. 3609 color. These drills look lovely. They look so pretty. So we have a few different ABs and special drills. Um, hello. <laughs> so first up, 53, which I think on the sticker chart, that is this one down here with the symbol that I don't recognize. Uh, but this looks like a metallic drill and O my goodness, look at that. So this is not an AB. This is a different type of special drill. I don't know if I've ever worked with anything quite like this before. It's like a silver metallic drill. I love it. We will take a look in a moment to see exactly where that's going to go, but let's look at our other special drills. This is definitely an AB. Now, if you're newer to diamond painting, AB stands for Aurora Borealis and just is the name of a particular type of special drill that they've put a sparkly iridescent coating on the top of, which you can see there. That is just going to make these drills glitter and shine even more and pick up some of the colors of the drills around them as well. They're just going to beautifully enhance the areas where they've been charted. We also have a big old bag of white AB. And I love, you know, I just, I love a good white AB. So let's take a quick look and see exactly where these three colors are going to go. So first, 
this metallic drill, we are looking for the arrow that's pointing down and to the right. So let's take a look here. I see it sprinkled a little bit through here. This is in the bottom of her dress. I see it sprinkled a little bit through here. Yeah, coming down through here. Over here, okay. Here as well, yeah, it's kind of outlining just a little bit. There's a chunk over here. There's a little sprinkled in her dress as well here. Keep looking, I'll make sure I'm not missing any. It's a big canvas, it's taking a minute. <laughs> there's a little bit, he oh, okay. So in between her and the bird, there's a little bit sprinkled through here. And a little bit sprinkled up here in the top. All right. So that is that particular color. Now let's find where that pale pink AB is going to go. And the symbol we're looking for, it's kind of like a plus sign. Okay, so it's sprinkled down in the bottom here. Actually, I don't know if you can see that. So a little bit down here in the folds of her dress, it's sprinkled all through. Uh, just a bit in her hair here and here, highlighting it a little bit, I think. It's here in the front, actually right next to that silver metallic AB. This is her hair, a little bit here. So it's kind of in the highlights of her hair, it looks like. Here's just a little bit more of that silver AB that I missed outlining her profile. We have a whole bunch of that pink AB. This whole sec center section of the flower here and here, super sparkly flowers. That's going to be really beautiful, love it. And finally, we have our white AB, and we are just looking for the letter O, which I believe, yep, all through here, much of this here in her robes, and down here as well is that white AB that is going to sparkle. There's some here on the top part of her dress, sprinkled through here. Yeah, it's all throughout her dress or her robes. That is so lovely, <laughs> I love that. And then do we have any up here in the top? Just a couple here in the bird and a tiny bit up here, a little cluster of them. Wonderful, those ABs are going to enhance this kit beautifully, I think, and those colors just look stunning. Um, yes, I am really excited to see how this turns out because this artist has several pieces licensed to Oraloa. Um, I'm loving it. I cannot wait to see how this turns out because then I'm just going to want all of them. <laughs> all right, I have one other kit for you guys. Let me set this to the side and pull that one out for you. Okay, so our second kit for this unboxing video is the absolutely beautiful Imperatrice de Arome from Laura Felipon. Pardon my French, please. Um, but I absolutely love this one. <laughs> I think in large part because she, it feels like it's me in diamond painting form. I love that she is all super cozy with her scarf and her cup of coffee. She's got brown hair like I do and pink. Pink. So this one is 71 by 71 centimeters and is also a round drill diamond painting kit. And even though the box looks just a little bit crunched, hopefully the painting itself, yeah, no, it looks completely fine, but we'll see, we'll get it out and take a look. So the usual suspects, we have instructional sheet and a sticker sheet. Okay, this one is much more vibrant than the other, actually. Like, even the symbols look very different. I wonder, where did I set that? That is actually a really interesting comparison to do. Kind of a side-by-side. -side. Those are quite different, aren't they? Huh. I wonder if they just have slightly different manufacturers. Like I said, I believe that they have warehouses in two different places so maybe these are from different warehouses so anyway 
it's not a big deal. It's just an observation. <laughs> this is going to have 50 colors. Again, 71 by 71 centimeters. It looks like we're going to have a couple of ABs as well. Um, to be honest with you, 71 by 71, that's not typically a size that I see. It's a little bit on the bigger side, just in terms of, I don't know, I feel like a lot of, well, that's not exactly true. Um, <clears throat> I don't tend to see a lot of companies do square kit, like squares and they end up being a square shape and 71 by 71. It's just, I don't know why, it's different. <laughs> so this feels like it has the same, oh, there is a little bit of that crunch from the box. That's okay, this is poured glue and seems to be a nice quality canvas. So hopefully that is going to um, lay flat without too much trouble. I might pop this in between my mattresses just to help it along a little bit but anyway um this is going to be gorgeous and glorious so it looks like we have the same toolkit as before I'm not going to pull it out this time just for sake of time but oh my gosh look at all the pink I'm also white but look at all the pink <laughs> okay we'll get into those in just a moment let's look at this beautiful piece right after we have rolled it back the other way oh my gosh Ah, she's so pretty. <laughs> okay, roll first. So I am very much thinking of working on this one for drills and chills. We decided that this piece does qualify because she definitely looks like she has cozied up for fall. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I am actually co-hosting the event Drills and Chills this year with my friend Jessica at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. It's just an event about all things autumn and Halloween. So... Oh my gosh, you guys, I love her. Oh my gosh, I wanna start working on her immediately. She's so pretty. Okay, focus, Katie, focus. So just like the other canvas, we have the thumbnail, the artist, and the name at the top right. We have branding at the top center. And then we have a color code chart or legend on the top left, which much like the one on the other canvas or like the sticker sheets, seems to be more vibrant than the other canvas. We have the same chart over here on the bottom right. Socials, licensing, and size. Let's do a really quick measurement. Oh my gosh, you guys, she's so pretty. <laughs> this is another artist. Okay, this is just a tick shy of 71. This is another artist that if I like the way that the work is turning out rendered, rendering wise, um, I'm gonna want so much of her artwork, it's so beautiful. <laughs> so this looks lovely. Let's look at the symbols. It is measuring true to size, by the way. Um, these look crystal clear. All right. Can I give her some nail polish? <laughs> that would make her even slightly more like me. Though that's not totally true. My nails have been naked for like a month now because they just, really needed a break. So there's a little bit less confetti in her face, but there's still confetti. I'm anxious to see how that shading and rendering turns out. And then look at that color blocked white over there. My goodness, at least that'll go fast. Uh, do be careful though, because with white, when you color block light colors, um, it's a lot easier to see imperfections, I suppose, like, or if you haven't placed them really perfectly. At least those symbols are very subtle. It's not like a big symbol that you have to try to center the drill over and cover it. This is harder to pull back because it's so big. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is... It's very, oh, it's staticky. That's what's happening. This is not how I recommend putting this plastic cover back down, but I do not want to waste a ton of your time. Um, okay, this looks really pretty, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, focus. Let's look at the drills, which again, you can write the name of the kit on here if you want, if you're gonna store this separate. I like that the boxes have the artwork on them as well. All right. Again, I'm not gonna pull out all of the colors. We're just gonna take a look at a few. And particularly if this one does come from a different factory, I wanna look at some of these darker drills and see if we think the quality is about the same. So this is, yeah, that's 939. No, these look equally as sparkly and high quality. 
pink. <laughs> Actually, these colors remind me just a little bit of a kit that I am currently working on. It has lots of pinks and purples as well. Love, love, love. Oh my gosh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, where are the ABs? Look at all of this white, by the way. Oh my goodness. There's four bags, I just missed the one. <laughs> so we have just a tiny, tiny bit in the way of ABs in this kit. So a little bit of this yellow AB and a little bit of the white. I wonder if they're gonna be in the butterflies. Let's find out. So the yellow AB is the lowercase f symbol. And I see that in the butterflies exclusively. Yep, these little butterflies. Um, and then the white AB, we're looking for the lowercase t. This may take me a moment because there's just the tiniest handful of them. Um, shout if you see it, please. Not in her eyes, not in her face that I'm seeing. Oh, okay, the rim of the coffee cup. Here, that might be it. Is it just maybe, just maybe the rim of the coffee cup? I think it is. That'll still be really pretty. <laughs> I might find a couple other spots to add ABs, maybe add a little bit more glitz to the rest of the coffee cup or something like that, or I might just leave it as is and work on this beauty. <laughs> Look at her eyes, I love it. Now I don't have blue eyes, I have hazel eyes, but still very pretty. All right, my friends, so that is Oraloa. These tickets from Oraloa are still available to my knowledge, and I'll be sure to link to them on the website below. Like I mentioned, my friend Bev is an affiliate and I believe has a discount code, so I'll link to one of her Oraloa videos where she'll have all the info and share her experience with it as well, but I am really loving the look of what I'm seeing. Um, I think that the quality is fantastic, especially, especially for a brand new diamond painting company. I love that they're on poured glue. The drills seem to be top-notch quality. Um, of course, they're legally licensed, which is super, super important to me. And they have a lot of bigger kits. Um, I also like that they offer all of their kits in both round and square drills, though I can't speak to the quality of the square drill kits just yet because I'm still waiting on mine, but hopefully soon. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you like the look of either of these two kits for yourself? Have you had the chance to check out Oraloa yet? If you haven't, definitely go and give them a look. I know a few people who are working on kits from them at the moment over on Instagram. So you could take a look over there as well to see how they're turning out rendering wise. I am hoping to get to this kit sometime during drills and chills and be able to share my thoughts on it with you as well. But in the meantime, like I said, feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I really appreciate that you guys watched this video with me. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up before you head out. And if you're not already subscribed and would like to see more diamond painting content like this, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.